Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. All right, so for this past Wednesday's uh, go live, what we did was we drew uh, a dog and a cat. And it was a very easy step-by-step -step lesson that took about the whole 15 minutes. And uh, it turned out really good. So hope you guys enjoy this very unedited uh, recording of this past Wednesday's Go Live session. Enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. Great job. All right, so right now this camera is pointing down on the screen and the computer's right here. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is make sure you have your paper horizontally, just like me. So my paper is horizontal, so that way it's left to right, not side to side, or sorry, not uh, up and down. And um, you can use a pencil so it's easier to erase. Or if you want to use colored pencil or crayon, that's allowed too. But for me, I'm going to use a black marker because sometimes when it comes to video, it's really hard to see pencil. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick example. So here's my name, Mr. Mill. So that's really hard to see on camera. But if I draw this in marker, again, Mr. Mill, it's a lot easier to see on camera. So that's the only reason why I have to use marker. But if you want to use pencil, that's fine. So the first step on my project is this. So my paper is horizontal. I'm going to draw the floor of where something's going to sit right towards the bottom. So if you guys learned this in kindergarten, you want to make sure your line is in the bottom, just like that. It's a little blurry right now. I apologize, but it'll focus automatically. Give the camera one sec. All right, so the camera's focus. So all I did was just draw a nice straight line on the bottom. Can you guys do that for me real quick? All right, good job, guys. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a nice big circle right over here. So I'm not going to draw a small, tiny circle. Watch how big my circle is. And look how close it is to the line. I'm going to draw a circle about this large. And it's that far apart from the line. All right. All right, next step. What I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw two lines going down from the circle. But wait, I'm not going to draw a line going straight down. I'm not going to go straight down like this. I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle. So notice how I go from here. It's going to angle it to this way a little bit. And I'm going to draw my next line. And it's going to be angled that way a little bit. So just like that. Now, with that said, I'm going to take a volunteer. Can anyone want to, want to tell me? Uh, by raising their hand, what could we be drawing? Anyone want to take a wild guess? Rhea, you want to take a guess? Um, it looks like we're, we drew a tree. Oh my gosh, you're it's not a tree, but that's a really cool guess, though. Anyone want to take another guess? What could we be drawing? I'm gonna pick Paige. A person that's a very good guess and it could be but it's not <laughs> that's a really good guess though I don't want to take a last guess um, I only see nine squares so is there anyone that sees a hand raise miss Mirabetti or miss Hardigan or miss Navi anyone see another Kayla hand raise? okay Kayla do you want to tell me what you think it could be I think it's like a cone with a ball on top of it that's a good guess, too. <laughs> all right. Those are all good guesses, but they're all wrong, unfortunately. Hopefully, these next couple steps will explain what it could be. So I want to keep going. So here I go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to draw two more lines in the inside of this section right here. But watch where I place them. I'm going to put a line right here, but notice how I'm not going to the floor. And over here, I'm going to draw another line right there. And notice how I didn't touch the floor yet. It kind of looks like a plug outlet, kind of. Looks like a, an outlet where you kind of like stick like somewhere something you want to plug in. All right, here's my next step. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to attach these to the floor with a curve. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to curve down, attach it like that. And on the other side, same thing but opposite direction, just like that. Next step, 
We all know how to draw the number three, right? This is the number three. Don't draw that. But instead of drawing number three, we're going to draw a three that looks kind of weird like this, okay? Watch what I'm about to do. I want to put that in the middle right here. So I'm going to start right here. So it's my number three, like that. And I'm going to draw number, number, another number three, but the opposite direction, just like that. All right. Before I keep going on, I am going to take some more volunteers because we just did some more lines on our artwork. And hopefully, we can get even more guesses going of what we could be drawing. All right. So I'm going to try and get some people that have their hands raised. This Hardigan has all the good signs. I need to make all these signs now. Um, so can anyone take a guess of what we could be making? Anyone? Um, I'm going to pick Rhea. I see Rhea Owen with his hand up. What's, uh, what's a guess of what it could be? Rhea? Yeah, it looks like a toy backpack. It could be a toy backpack, but it's not. Anyone want to take another guess? I'm going to pick Sean. Sean. Would you like to guess what it could be? A frog. It could be. And I'm going to take one more volunteer. I haven't picked. Dietrich it... has his hand up. Dietrich, okay. Uh, Dietrich, you want to take a guess? Um, a dog? Yeah, it's going to be a dog. Good job. So in order to complete this dog, I'm going to do a couple more steps that's going to be important to our dog. So dogs have round noses. So I'm going to draw my round nose, not in the middle, but I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm just going to draw a nice tiny oval right there. Nice tiny oval. Now dogs have, have you ever heard of the phrase cute puppy eyes? Well, guess what? I'm going to draw nice big round circles for its eyes, just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to make it kind of looking up at an angle. So I'm going to draw the letter C in the left eye. This is the letter C. And then I'm going to draw an opposite C on the right eye. So now your dog should be kind of looking up really cute. Now, I'm going to talk about another letter. We're going to talk about the letter W. Oh, sorry, shaky camera. Um, I'm going to draw a letter W, but it's going to be really wide. So I'm going to draw my letter W right here. And what that just made is the mouth. If you want to add cute teeth, you can. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ears. If you want to make your ears pointy, you can. For me, I'm going to go down like this and around like this. And the only thing missing on our dog is a cute tail. So I'm just going to draw a V. Ta-da. All right. We have about four minutes left. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to show you guys a quick technique of how to turn what we just did into a cat. So you don't have to follow along with me if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it really quick. So, again, it's going to be really fast. I'm going to draw a circle that we did in the beginning, the two lines that we just did. And then we kind of make made it look like an outlet where you like plug something in like that. The two feet on the bottom. And then you remember the number three that we just did? There's a number three. Opposite number three. And instead, some people are cat people, so they want to draw a cat. So what you would do differently is this. You would add a triangle instead of an oval. Maybe instead of oval. So you can still do cute eyes like this. But for a cat, I'm going to change the eye shape into footballs. So now they're footballs now. And then maybe I'll draw letter C's in them also. Okay, like that. And then instead of a wide W, I'm going to do a nice tidy W. Just like that. I'm going to draw pointy ears for my cat. And then maybe a curly tail instead. Ta-da! So those are the differences. If you want to add little toes, you can. So here's my toes for the dog. For the cat, same thing. 
And that's pretty much it. If you want to add detail like spots or stripes, I've seen people do that before. Maybe I'll add stripes like this. Maybe I'll add stripes on the tail, side of the body like that. It's up to you. But basically what I just taught you guys how to do is how to draw a dog and a cat. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this lesson. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera around. So it's not time to go yet, give me one sec. Let me switch to camera one. All right, here we go. All right, so I think Ms. Hardigan had the sign because I didn't make one yet, but does anyone wanna show me their work? Does anyone wanna, you guys wanna hold up your artwork so, you guys, so I can see them? Oh wow, Paige, that's awesome. That's really cool. Oh wow, Kayla, good job. All right, I like all the artworks I'm seeing. Dietrich, good job. That's really cool. All I right. See Carter and Oliver, great job, you guys. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, Oliver, can you unmute yourself and show me your artwork so I can see? Can you say hi, Oliver? I can only hi. see nine people at the moment. Oh wow, yeah, that's cool. In use color, nice. All right. Well, the time now is um, nine fifty nine. So I hope you guys enjoy this lesson, and I'm gonna ask you guys to sign off. So I hope you guys enjoy this lesson, and see you guys next time. Bye bye. Uh, bye guys. Bye, Mister Mill. Bye. Bye, Mister Mill. Bye, Oliver. All right.